In today's tutorial, we will have a look at the methylation of bromobenzene. Well, bromobenzene can be methylated, for instance, with magnesium forming a Grignard reagent, in this case then a phenyl Grignard. We can also lithiate it with elemental lithium, but a much faster reaction, which also already works at minus 100 degrees, is the so-called permutational interconversion with an, with an alkyl lithium compound. In today's example, we will choose tertiary butyl lithium because this has some advantages we will talk about later on. So, with tertiary butyl, butyl lithium, we have a negatively, partially negatively charged carbon, which is nucleophilic. It will attack as a nucleophile at bromide. Such a linear complex is formed with two bromo bromine carbon bonds and three free electron pairs at the bromine. This is negatively charged, a so-called eight complex. Of course, we have the lithium countercat ion present in close proximity. It is an equilibrium reaction. It might react back to the starting situation, but also the, this carbon bromine bond might break. Then we get to the desired phenyl lithium and to tertiary butyl bromide. So, and this situation has a, a significant advantage, so the equilibrium will end up of this, at this site, because here the delta minus is at an sp3 hybridized center, here it is at an sp2 hybridized center, and at sp2 hybridized center a negatively charged is better stabilized because it's closer to the atom core. Indeed, an sp2 hybridized carbon is slightly more electrophilic compared to an sp3 hybridized carbon. So, what is the advantage in using tertiary butyl lithium? So, in this case, tertiary butyl bromine, bromide is, um, <coughs> is formed and this is of course an alkylating agent and could cause some following up reaction we don't want to see. Well, if we add a second equivalent of tertiary butyl lithium, we start with two equivalents of tertiary butyl lithium, then the second equivalent will react as a base with the formed tertiary butyl bromide. It's deprotonated at uh, the CH3 groups and the result will be isobutene and isobutane and the salt lithium bromide. This is a one-directional uh, reaction and not an equilibrium and therefore we get rid of all alkylating agents that might be present. Thanks for listening.